Hey everybody, Tokusa here and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So, as you can see, we did pull the boy Celebrations Total Roki. I did summons with the homie DRC3, so if you want to check out parts 1 and 2, uh, he has part 1, I have part 2. Uh, pretty sweet summons overall. I got a lot of URs, but of course the main thing we want to headline here is the boy Todoroki. So, we're going to do a couple matches in PvP and, and PvE as well. Uh, but just to show you kind of where I have him at, I have pretty much dumped everything I had into him to get him completely done. Uh, keep in mind, there's no dupes into this character whatsoever, but everything else is essentially completely done. Uh, advanced leveling, of course, is done. The basic route is completed, and the peace route is also done. And if those that are wondering what my EX auto skills are, there you have it. No speed on that first one, just didn't get quite lucky with it at all. Uh, but somewhat power. Uh, but some decent defense down here. I think this is what this unit is mainly for. He's more of like a defensive, like, supportive unit. So, yeah. Just gonna hop into some PvP fights. I'm going to run an optimal memory on him. And then I'm just gonna run a... Not a niche memory, but just like a... An okay memory that doesn't help with cooldowns. I want to see how that barrier comes to play. Uh, I haven't really read into uh, many of the comments or... Just like people's feedback on how the character performs yet. But I want to kind of test it myself this six turn cooldown time, so get an idea of what it's like. See if it is viable or is it going to be a pain to play around with. But yeah, anyways, without further ado, I will find a match and I'll see you all there in a second. Alright, so this first fight, we are going to fight this Dobby user here. Uh, I kind of like the team, double Dobby here. We have Momo and Todoroki. Uh, but this is the team that we are going to bring in. So... For those that don't know Todoroki's kit, he does have some support to MND characters as well. He does provide defense to them. So I figured Nedry is just kind of like a, like, you know, a perfect trip for him essentially, right? Because Nedry is actually really tanky and she does have triple AoEs. So I feel like pretty good combination uh, with the two beside each other. And then Momos is obviously essential in PvP these days. So I think this is the way to go. So this is the memory I'm just going to run on him first. This does not affect any action skill cooldown time. This is just, of course, Dulce Summertime. I don't really need to explain it. Good dodge, good speed, no fight status elements. I think it'll work well. But when I do go into the next fight, I am going to use this memory. This really, like, this will solve his action skill problems like nothing, right? For those that don't know with these feelings, right? It, uh, the bottom line's the main thing here. Shortens character's action skill cooldown time by two every three turns up three times. And I think it'll work perfectly with him because A, it regenerates HP. And when he regenerates HP, he increases his own defense. And the role I have on this is power and HP like crazy to an MND character. I think this is probably going to be his best memory that I have for him personally. Uh, just memories to run on him in general. I don't think offensive is the way to go. Any sort of like speed and defense to the character is probably the best way to go or just max HP up. Uh, I'll, I'll probably go through a bunch of memories and test that what I think is the most, you know, useful on him, I guess you could say. But for the time being, we're just going to try double Dulce Summertime. Doesn't help his cooldowns whatsoever. I just want to get a feel for myself how this six turn cooldown is, right? I want to know if the barriers have to be in play. Do they have to be on him, active at the end of the turn? Do they have to just be hit and removed and that counts as a cooldown time? I, I don't really know how it works at all here. So we're going to get an idea, or I'm going to get an idea how that is, right? But I've heard that he can be incredibly, incredibly annoying to fight. If you have the right team, right? You gotta have a very specific team. But if we're like him, uh, New Year's of Choco, right? And I think like just Momo or even uh, maybe Celeb Deku. It's just, it's like a wall that you're trying to get through. So, I don't know. I've heard mixing, so I'm excited to get a good feel for myself here. Um, I'm actually just gonna put it on Todoroki. I'm just gonna see if I can keep him alive. I know crit rate should go on Nezure here, but this does have some max HP. So, I wanna see if we can get a few turns out of the boy here. So, hopefully we can do that. That's probably going to do pretty good damage, which it did. But we're still over half, so that's really good. Get the barrier for the whole team. Uh, I, sh I should read those action skills again, just to make sure I'm I am choosing the right one there. I'm not 100% sure if one should be used before the other. I just know that Todoroki wants to be used in a successful executing skill chain. Okay, perfect. Second or later, this one is exactly what I was just saying. Plus ultra gauge allies to all allies, which is great. And skill impact. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there was a there's a specific one you want to use in order, so. As you can see, the damage, you could probably build him damage. I'll try a damage build for sure in one of my you know, uh, future videos. But for here, I, I just don't see it in his kit. I don't really see that being a play, but hey, it might be. 
Okay, so we have plus ultras. Big thing I'm looking at right now is that cooldown time on that action skill. It is six turns. I haven't really been paying attention to all the things that that have been like, you know, the name of the, the titles or whatnot that are on the bodies that are telling me like what buffs are being applied or whatnot. I don't know if it's going to tell me if cooldown times went down by one. Plus, all just clean though. I love that. Okay, so six turn, six turn cooldown. Momo is going to lower it by one. Keep that in mind. She does lower action for cooldown time. So does Todoroki. Okay, so it worked actually. It is already back. Very interesting. So Momo, of course, lowers it by one. So that makes it six to five. And then Todoroki does it as well with his uh, plus ultra as well. And then in his kit, I believe it's when he has a barrier. Or when a barrier is removed. I have to. I honestly have to read it again. But, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that says... I don't think you get a notification that says action skill for down time down. Uh, but we could be honestly starting to lean towards a barrier meta now, huh? Very interesting, very interesting. I'm gonna attack through here with uh, Todoroki just to make sure I get the barrier in play here. Huh, maybe you actually do not need... Maybe you actually do not need a memory that lowers cooldown time. Maybe it actually is going to be sufficient enough. Maybe I won't run Momo, so I can get a real good feeling what that's like. Because I guess you have, I have two characters, as in Todoroki and Momo here, lowering that action skill cooldown time. Right? And see? Actually, no, I don't actually have to do that. So, because Momo didn't plus ultra there, she lowers action skill cooldown time with her own there. Uh, I do not have the original AoE that gives barrier to the whole team, because it's a six turn cooldown time. Interesting. So, it looks like Todoroki can take that down twice himself. I guess the barrier does help, and then the plus ultra, right? So, the six kind of feels like a four. And then when Momo, of course, if you have someone like Momo, or celebrate his Bakuko, Fantasy Ochako, Monoma, like people that can lower action skill cooldown time like that, that looks like it could be in play pretty well there, so. Okay, first fight's good. Maybe I don't have to switch memory, but I will, because I like the other one a lot, and it's very defensive, so. I get a good feel for that, but yeah, first fight went pretty good. Uh, we'll fight like... Uh, full celeb team, see what that's like, and get a feel if he can compete with that, but... I mean, he didn't really look like he was in any damage of danger, or... Danger of damage, said that backwards. Uh, of, like, getting KO'd or anything there, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll try another team, and see if he can perform just as well there, but... All in all, not bad, not bad. Alright, so our next fight's gonna be against Speedy Nimbus. So I did go over his kit again briefly. So it seems like he does lower an action skill cooldown time after one turn passes after using Barrier. So me seeing that wording, I'm immediately thinking as soon as his barriers have been used or have been like, I, I guess have been attacked essentially while he has a barrier up. And since he has one on his AOE, so that's one cooldown time, assuming like the normals go towards him. And then his plus ultra also gives him a two, it might give you two barriers, honestly. You are lowering his action skill cooldown time. So as long as you don't have somebody like aggroing and they're not attacking anybody else but Todoroki, I feel like it actually is in play here, so... I don't know, this is going to be a much tougher team. A, as you can see, we are going against UR+, plus a monstrous team. And I should go to the defensive memory, but I want to try it again with this to get a better feel for it. Uh, we do have AoE attackers here, we are fighting Celeb Deku, right? And then Ochako, of course, is always just a menace with her AoEs and stuns, so... I think this will be a really good test to see, A, the survivability, and get a better feel for how this cooldown works here. Because I'm going to pay a lot more attention now. But yeah, I can honestly see this... Maybe... I, I might have been a little too harsh on paper, right? I usually am. I usually am. So... Uh, we are slower. I am not very shocked at all. But hopefully we do not get stunned. Damn! That deck is doing damage. Okay. Measure actually took a lot of damage there. I'm not a big fan of that. But. Barriers up. Oh, they don't like Measure it. Okay, that's good, though. I actually want to see someone else but uh, Todoroki not get hit. And then I get an idea. Um, because, yeah, that cooldown. That cooldown time there when I'm looking at that little, like, like the gauge there, as you can see. <laughs> Looks like it's at 2 out of 6, so. I guess only time will tell. is still holding on, which is good. That's all that matters to me. Get a burn going. That was pretty solid damage there. Like... It might not be that crazy, you might think. Like, 7Ks on, on Momo, they're critting. For someone that's this defensive, that's really, really good. Oh, did he get hit, hit there with the normal? Because that cooldown's at 4 now. So, yeah, with these two plus ultras, that, that AoE's going to be right back on track. 
Huh, maybe that's actually not too bad. Maybe that barrier is honestly pretty solid. Uh, now, obviously, one thing with Total Roki is damage is definitely not going to be his biggest asset. But, hey, survivability, I will take it. He's looking pretty good with All Might. I wish All Might was yellow now. <laughs> that would have been great. And I do love the plus all train. There's the barrier to everybody. He got attacked with the barrier. He lost both barriers. Oh, yeah, that cooldown time is simple. Beautiful. All right, we use both instances of Dulce Summertime with Nezure, so now we will go focus on Total Rookie. Huh. Now you can see we're, we're not really hurt. Well, I mean, we're not really doing any damage either. But, like, barrier plus dodge, that's pretty crazy. That's, it's a nice combo, but uh, I think y'all know who I'm going to try to fight in the next fight here. I might actually just make VE Tower a separate video now that I think about it. Or I might make this a super long video, I'm not too sure yet. I want to get a good taste of how Bakufu is. Uh, because, of course, Bakufu has bullseye on all his bloody attacks, right? So, that could be incredibly annoying, but you can't get through Barrier, at least. Now, for some reason, the one downside to Barrier... Uh, now, Barrier is very good, don't get me wrong, but for some reason, you can still stun. You can still bind while you have Barrier up. I couldn't tell you why. Couldn't tell you why. Doesn't make sense to me. But, uh, that is, like, the one downside to Barrier. So, fighting somebody like Press can still... Uh, it could still suck. Suck a lot. But, uh, but yeah, so far... He's looking good, man. He's looking, he's looking sturdy. He's holding his own because I, this is I'm fighting a 550k battle power team right here, right? And we are full health. We just got rid of Ochako. Oh, you know what? I, I, I totally forgot Baku was on the back line. Perfect. This is what I want to see. Uh, because I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, I'm not forgetful. But I don't think Barrier can get or uh, Bullseye gets through Barrier. We will see here. Does Nezure have Barrier as well? Okay, no, it's just Todoroki. But Todoroki's used both instances of his Dolce Summertime, so let's see. There should be a zero on this first hit. Of course, he doesn't have to. There is, though. I saw Momo take zero damage there. Okay, so yeah. Barrier might be the new way to get through this Celebrations Bakugo. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. Because, of course, uh, I did cover the new Karashima that's coming out as well, and he is 100% Barrier, right? Debuffing, Barrier, just defensive wall. So I could see that Karashima plus Todoroki combo being the most annoying fight ever. But no, honestly, I, I'm quite impressed so far. Nezure is gonna... Is gonna be okay? Oh, she is just barely holding on there. Uh, I, I'm honestly very impressed so far. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting the greatest uh, performance, and I'm glad that I can eat those words. So far, this is good. This is looking really good. Uh, he seems to be holding on defensively, like, superbly. That action skill cooldown time of himself is looking great, like that AoE. Of course, you're going to have to run somebody else besides Todoroki that can lower action skill cooldown time, which I know not everybody can say they can. Like, Celebrations Momo, uh, Fantasy Ochako, Celebrations Bakugo. Like, I, I, I could probably, you could probably find them all online on the website, but... Uh, if you are, you know, fortunate enough to have somebody like that partnered beside him, I think Cel Celebrations Momo is the best character out there, so if you are going to think of which Celebr Celebrations character you want, I would highly recommend going for her. But yeah, if you run these two beside each other, this is, this is disgusting. Like, I don't feel scared to lose at all. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. The fight's not over yet, but this is a much higher battle power team than mine. And it is not no joke of a team, it is... Essentially, the entire team celebration with Defeat's fancy for rookie here, which is crazy for me to think. Now we're just we're going right through it. This is this is bizarre. Uh, and honestly, these plus ultras are probably going to be game. So, damn, that's a that's a huge thumbs up for me. I don't even think I need to use my defensive memory. I'm going to use it in maybe a a different video. But Todoroki looking pretty damn good. <laughs> See, sometimes I just get so deceived when I don't see, like, a bunch of damage or debuffing now, right? We fall... Uh, I I tend to fall for the trend of these metas, right? Where if I don't see everybody else doing the same thing that these other units are doing, but better, like Celebrations Bakugo, I get a little skeptical, but... I don't know. Look at my team. <laughs> We're doing... I know, I know I have a very good team. Don't get me wrong, but... This is... That was a very good team we took on, too. That was a full UR Plus team. Meta, very good. I'm assuming very well equipped as well. Memories, 
we did damn well. Obviously, attacking and defending is a whole different story, so keep that in mind. But yeah, that was very, very impressive. All right, so there's the two PvP fights. I am going to call it there for those. I'm going to do a VE Tower match to end it. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, I may have been wrong. I may maybe I should just never judge a character again uh, by just reading the uh, uh, his kit. I need to actually use the character because, damn. A boy Todoroki looking pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so for VE Tower, we're just taking on the Impact Fest Midori. He's got a lot of health. I think this is just a nice, like, simple uh, fight to take on. And, you know, Barrier is a nice recommendation for the fight, so I figured it's the way to go. But in terms of VE Tower, this is where I think he was, like, meant to shine. But, hey, if he's a PvP compatible character, too, he's, a, he's actually a pretty big win. Uh, now... Uh, I'll leave my final thoughts to the end. But here's where I think he's going to shine the most, right? I'm not going to go through his kit, you know. I'm just going to go over the key points here, right? Uh, you know he's got burn, he's got defense and whatnot. But nice technical abilities in this ability here. With the plus ultra gauge. Uh, and then down here he also has another one that get, cancels temporary status ailments, right? Uh, and then yeah, he's just got crit resistance. He's just got a lot of good things going for the character. Where I really think he can shine really, really well. And the big thing that I think makes him that much better, right, is doing your plus ultras, getting off them plus ultras required to get the max score is so important. And not only does this action skill here, Fire Dance, give you that, but plus ultra gauge, 20%, that is part of the technical attack, right? But the cooldown for this is only 4. So if you include this with the barrier, and then the plus ultra giving barrier here, right, like Frozen Suppression gives the barrier here, and this, essentially, if you build the character properly, uh... Which I'm actually going to change up right now. <laughs> I was just—I was trying to think of a memory in my head to use, and I just thought of the greatest memory of all time, which would be Tokyo here. Uh, when on a male character, increases a plus ultra gauge by 50% up to one time. I'm thinking you could AOE right with this skill here, which would be the first action skill. Then you plus ultra. You're getting the barrier on it, and then with all things going right, maybe you should be able to use the AOE again, because that would be insane. Because then you could do AOE plus ultra, AOE plus ultra. That's kind of how my brain is picturing it, right? Because I'm also lowering action skill cooldown time with this. I'm hoping that's the way it, it plays out. If not, I will revisit V Tower and try to get it to work. But that's kind of what I'm thinking might just be the best way. Because that way you're getting your 4 plus ultras, right? Because Momo and Bakugo should still plus ultra like normal. And then Todoroki doing 2 while doing that AoE twice, which is increasing plus ultra gauge up like crazy. I think it should work. I think. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out right here. So his pulse ultra gauge shoots up there to 50%. So that's really, really good. Uh, we're going to have him attack second. We're going to do the AoE. And then Bakugo's going to get the power down too. He's just got full power young ones. Crit rate up and everything, right? Good crit there. You'll love to see that. Good crits there too. Very good. Very good start. You'll love to see that. No crits in them normal, so it sucks. The plus ultra. Okay. Okay. We cooking. I'm seeing the vision. Now... How do I play this? Because I don't want to attack with them. So I think I just plus ultra. V Tower Pro's out there. Let me know if this is dumb or not. I, I, I'm i really not good at V Tower. It's definitely something I should work on. So we get in the plus ultra now. So that'll be the first of the plus ultras. And then we get in the second action skill. Attack. And then I should be able to plus ultra again. Question mark. Because I have that AoE. As you can see it. That's kind of how I envisioned it. So I'm going to get the plus ultra gates of all allies. Including himself. And then Bakugo's going to get full power young ones in here one more time, right? And then we should be able to plus ultra once again. Oh, uh, no, I forgot Deku does have all his last stands. So this might have been actually the worst fight to choose for this. But I think, like, that makes the most sense in my head, right? Because now we get the plus ultras. Beautiful, beautiful. And Bakugo does block buffs. So maybe we get rid of his last stand, I imagine. And he does have two... Oh, okay, we're not going to KO. I lied. So it's going to go five turns. It may not be a perfect run, but uh, we should get another action skill turn with everybody too, though. So that's, I don't know, it's looking like it's cooking to me, right? So uh, that plus also won't do anything, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, we're good. And now we get, I guess this will be a five turn clear, because everybody gets their action skill. Oh, you know what, this is kind of cooking. I, I, I see something. Uh, and then this should be just a five turn clear. Instead of four, it's so not a perfect run, but... Oh, that was pretty damn good, though. I'm pretty sure we got everything we needed there. So in V Tower, I can see this boy be ridiculous. Of course, most Todorokis are very good in V Tower, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, the technical hits, they well, I kind of threw it out the window there. Oh, no, did I? 
I guess I could have got more technical hits. The crits were very unfortunate. We did not get any crits, but... Plus ultras four. Do you need five plus ultras? I thought it was four plus ultras. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the greatest media tower professional. I thought it was only four plus ultras, but it may be five. Status ailments, skill chains. We did clear that pretty quickly. Five turn clear. Uh, I'm just... I mean... Not too bad, I think. I, like, I'm sure you could obviously do a lot better. Them crits are looking real sad and them technical hits. Uh, and probably almost not essential. You probably want to run maybe like SR All Might or even Seiji or, I don't know, somebody a lot more VE Tower built, right? But I don't know. I don't know. That that felt pretty good to me. Like the AoE and the plus ultra, AoE plus ultra, AoE plus ultra worked really good to me. We got his two technical hits in, which I love to see. That felt great. Uh, the barrier was in play. Yeah, I don't know. It felt very smooth to me. So, uh, if y'all can make it work a lot better than me, you let me know down below uh, if that's not optimal or not. But that, it felt good. I'm sure if I had the right uh, cast around me, I guess you could say, uh, could have scored a lot better. But I don't know. V Tower, he's going to perform exactly as I'm imagining. Uh, uh, insane. He's going to be a fantastic addition to your team to get that crazy V Tower score. So, yeah. That, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm going to there. All right, so that's going to be it for Todoroki, the showcase, V-Tower, and PvP, essentially. Yeah, final thoughts. My boy, uh, he really shut me up. <laughs> he actually seems... I mean, he's a celebrations unit, so... Uh, of course, he performed better than I initially thought, but... He was... He was damn good there. That was actually really, really impressive. He did very good... Just, just defensive disruption, essentially, right? Crit resistance, defense up, right? Of uh, the barriers in play. Of course, I had to say summertime, so I'm being like super super defensive or like you know uh supportive in that way so i could have maybe used a different memory to really just show off his own kid instead of just a memory on top as well so i do apologize I, I'll, I'll try there will be more videos of course you'll see more uh builds that i will try with this unit but he did he did exactly as i wanted him to do but better than i thought he would ever do i thought he was going to get ko'd in most of my fights and well he shut me up he barely he barely got hurt <laughs> he, and he's he, there's no dupes in this point and then V Tower, yeah, he, he, he's going to cook in there. But anyways, let me know what you think of the unit. Maybe uh, he surprised you. Maybe he's doing a lot better than you initially thought. Or maybe he's not living up to your expectations. Let me know. I'm actually very curious. But I'm actually quite excited because he did damn well there. And Nejere is looking like one of the best aging units outside of like fantasy, uh, you know, festival units, right? He is, she is technically like a limited banner unit, but... I don't know. She, she's been out for a while now. She's still cooking. So now she's got a fantastic partner that gives her extra defense, right? And then more defensive utility. And the Momo is being Momo. I don't know. She, he looks good, man. He looks very, very good. I'm actually quite impressed. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the unit. I'm actually very curious. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, I've been reading all the comments and recommendations from everybody. I appreciate it all so much. And, you know, the recent subscribers, thank you all. I will try... To keep continue to make more enjoyable content and improve my own skills in the uh, you know content creator world so that y'all can enjoy it more and more each time so anyways thank y'all for tuning in uh and until the next one take care and tokusa out